Hey guys, this is Garden Girl Laura Craigie for twopeaceinabucket.com. Today is another seeing double video, and I'm going to be focusing on using speech bubbles on my projects today. I'm really excited about this, so let's get started. These are all my supplies that I've pre-picked, and I have them out on my desk, and I'm just going to start pushing them all to the side so I can get ready to go. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few different speech bubble options. The one right there I'm showing you are the main ones that I use by Pebbles. And then I have the colorful ones are also by Pebbles. And then I end up using some wood veneer from Studio Calico, some washi tape from October Afternoon. And uh, I just incorporate speech bubbles in a couple different ways. I think it's such a fun element to use. Those are the two main papers that I use. They're actually the only two pattern papers I end up using. I don't use these three that I have there. Um, I just I thought I might. I had them pulled ready, and I don't end up using them. So that chevron paper there is from the Photo Freedom Line Volume 1 by Echo Park. It's got, um, it's just a really cute color. And the back, it's actually I think the B side and then the other side has all these calendars on it. Um, but I like this side better. And then I have a ledger paper from the Pebbles Basics line. They have all sorts of different colors and the one that I'm using on the layout is the navy blue. So I decide that I just kind of want to throw all my things that I think I'm going to use down on the page and then just shift them around until I'm happy with them. And I started there with an envelope from the Fancy Pants Trendsetter line. That's where I'm going to tuck my journaling into. And again from the Trendsetter line was that little boy um, flashcard which I thought was really cute. Now these are the speech bubbles from Pebbles and you can see that um, they're if you just look at the packaging on the site, you would think they're just raw chipboard. And they are on the one side, but on the back they're perfectly smooth white, which is the side that I'm going to be using today. And um, I obviously didn't know that until I opened up the package and it was a really happy surprise because to me the white is the side that's um, a little more versatile. It's really smooth and you can stamp on it, doodle on it, do whatever you want. So I was really happy to see that and I thought I'd point that out to you guys. Also, they're 50% off right now, so they're only $1.99 for the whole pack, so it's a really great deal, and there's still a bunch in the shop, and I swoop those up before they sell out. So I'm pulling out a couple other envelopes here. I just thought, wasn't sure which colors I really liked, and I thought I'd pull out three different ones to, um, to check out here. And then I actually end up putting those two like that, and I decided that I really like having two on the page. And I will put my journaling in the top one, and the bottom one will probably just be empty. And I'm just going to think of it as an embellishment and not really a pocket. I just really liked the pop of color on the page. And right there I have some glitter tape by American Crafts. It's definitely a favorite product of mine, especially the silver ones. I find I go back to it all the time. It's just a nice, neutral, and a good way to add just some bling to the page. So that's actually the first thing I'm going to adhere down because I want to be able to cut off the excess pattern paper that I don't want and that gives me a perfect line to cut on. I don't have to pull out my um, trimmer or anything, it just I'll cut along the line there. And then I, because I do want to see the ledger, um, a little more of the ledger on the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off. There you can see the back or the front of that paper with all the little calendars which are really great for Project Life which is I think what I bought them for but then I ended up really loving this side of the paper a lot more. So that's what I'm using today. And there you go, I've adhered the papers and now I just am going to start adhering the rest of the stuff because I'm pretty sure that actually for once the first time I laid things down is pretty much how they're going to end up. I didn't have to do a lot of shuffling around this time which was a nice surprise. Usually I'm a little more indecisive than that. So there's my photo down and then I actually decide I have the two pops of red and I wanted to add a third red and there's this perfect red speech bubble also from Pebbles, Pebbles sorry, from the Love You More line and um, there's boy colors and girl colors and that's from the boy side and it's just a really cute um, addition to the page instead of the white ones. And I'm adding that little uh, flash card there with my Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. Uh, I didn't need to staple it but I really always like the addition of a, um, a different texture to the page so I like the little metal staples there. And I'm going to also add the little metal paper clips by Tim Holtz that I'm just obsessed with. And again it's not really needed, it's just kind of decoration and uh, I really like the way that looks on there. So this is washi tape by American Crafts, or sorry, not by American Crafts, by October Afternoon, and it's from the Midway line, and I've just, the moment I saw it, I just thought it was just the most adorable thing ever. I think the little bubbles say, like, love this, and quoted, and I didn't, 
really particularly care what they said. I just thought they looked really cute on there. And um, I really I like the addition of the black on the page. It's just another uh, element in color. Um, yeah, so I really like that. And I still haven't adhered things down because I'm just playing around with them, making sure that I really have um, things where I want them to be before I add them down. That was another roll of washi tape I thought I might add, but I didn't. Um, although it's super cute, it's one by KM Memories. These are the they're glitter foam stickers, and these are again by Pebbles from the Basics line. And I'm going to add a little W in this speech bubble here. I thought the, the speech bubbles are obviously a little plain looking just as they are, so I'm going to add little embellishments and stuff to them as I go. And uh, I, I chose these thickers because I knew once I once I had added the the glitter tape, I wanted to pull in some more glitter to the page. And these are in the store, and there's in this font all sorts of different colors. Some of them are glitter, some of them aren't. And why I really love these thickers is well, foam is my favorite kind of thicker. And secondly, they come in uppercase and lowercase on the same sheet, so you're not stuck with just uppercase or just lowercase. Um, so yeah, I thought they were really, really great font, um, versatile, and I'm a big fan of them. <laughs> so I'm just spelling out my title here, which is Baby Fever, which is exactly what I get when I see that cute little baby face. And, um, yep, just going to continue laying those down. So I think on this page I've added all the speech bubbles that I'm going to. On the card I add them in another way too, which you'll see later. And that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, you can see the stamps there at the lower right corner. Those are by Prima. I've actually pulled those out, I think, for two seeing double videos, and I keep not using them, which is crazy because they're ridiculously cute little fake washi stamps. Um, so I'll probably link those up in my project too, in case you've been wondering, seeing them there. Um, one of these days I will use them. Um, probably not on a video again, but on a layout sometime, somewhere. I'll use them because they're really, really cute. And that little smiley face uh, that I just added again to kind of create a visual triangle with the silver, um, I just thought it was really appropriate to go in a speech bubble because it's something that you know you add when you're texting or typing on a message board. Um, I tend to be addicted to adding that cute little smiley face. Anyhow, I'm <laughs> adhering down the speech bubbles because I'm finally happy with the placement. Um, and I just want to get those down on the page. And... You can see me there, I tilt my page up. I often do that because I sit when I scrapbook. I wish I had a desk that I could stand at, but it helps give me a better perspective. So I like to hold it up like that. And finally, um, for the speech bubbles, I'm adding these mistable stars from Studio Calico. You get a ton of them on the sheet. And um, yeah, I just thought they were really cute and I liked the, the tone on tone of the white on white. Although I'm going to add some pops of color here with the enamel dots. I want to pull that red back into the page again. And so I'm just going to add it to not all of them, but most of them. And I'm just going to use my finger here if I can't find my foam tool. I just add a tiny bit of uh, navy ink to those top three ones just so they stand out a bit more and bring a bit of navy back into the page to go with the uh, navy em envelope there. So again, just uh, fiddling around with those enamel dots, which seem to be all the rage lately, and as they should be, because they're such a fun little ac accent. So again, just lifting it up to get better perspective of where I think I should add the color. Um, and I decided to add it in all three of those stars at the top, just to really make them pop out. At this point, I'm going to grab a journaling pen and I really want those speech bubbles to pop off the page a bit more, um, just because they're, they're not blending in, but I want them to stand out even more. So I'm just going to really simply just add little ticking marks around all the speech bubbles there. And that's the great part about the white backs of those bubbles is that you can doodle on them or even stamp on them. And it's just a really fun embellishment. So after I did the black there, um, I decided that I want I didn't want to use the black on the red one there. I wanted to use my white gel pen. This is the Uniball pen. It's in the 2B store right now. There's lots of them. And it is by far my favorite white opaque pen. I never have to worry about it. Like some other ones I've gotten, I have to like shake them all the time and they run out, they dry out. This one, I've actually had it for years and it still works. I'm about ready for a new one. So I've got one in my bucket and uh, I'm going to check that out. Check out with that soon because it's a 
fabulous pen. I definitely recommend it. You can see it's working so well there. Um, and yeah, I liked the addition of the white on that one because it's a different color, so I didn't want to use the black. At this point, I'm getting really close to being done my page. I'm just going to add two little blue buttons to the side there from the 9 to 5 line by October afternoon. I just tied some twine through them and adhered them with glue dots. And now I am moving on to the card. So I have the same chevron paper from the layout, but I used up all the ledger paper in the navy blue, so I just pulled out the same exact paper but in black. So you can see there's the back of it with all the cute little polka dots, which I love too. But um, I'm a huge fan of using ledger as the base for my cards or pages or even grids, but just some subtle pattern I like to build off that rather than plain cardstock. And I'm actually, I feel like it's a bit cheating, but it's not. I'm going to pretty much copy the exact design from my layout. And the best part about that is you don't, you're not giving the layout and the card to the same person. You're keeping the layout and giving the card. So no one's going to know that you copied it exactly. And um, that's just what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add the washi tape along that line there. And again, I still think it looks really cute. I'm such a fan of washi tape. It's such an easy embellishment to add to your page. You just uh, don't even have to cut it. You can just tear it. And after that, of course, comes the glitter tape from American Crafts. Again, I don't even measure it. I just cut it, lay it down, and then snip off the ends. This one gave me a bit more trouble trying to open it, but uh, I got it. And just snip off the ends there. So for this card, I have another one of those chipboard speech bubbles from Pebbles. I'm trying to figure out where I want it to go on the page, if I want to do a landscape card or or not. And then I end up sticking it down at the bottom right there. And again, I'm going to add the little black ticking marks just to make it pop off just a tiny bit more. Um, and that's going to be the how I ground my sentiment for the card is by adding it to the, the speech bubble here. And I'm going to use those same thickers as well as you'll see probably next I think I add the Studio Calico wood veneer speech bubble that I mentioned earlier. So there it is. And I'm actually just going to press it into my the same navy ink pad. I have to do it a few times um, just because it needs to soak in there. And it ends up kind of looking black in the video here, but once it's dried it looks a little more navy. And then I just can add that right there and I really like the concept of the speech bubble on top of the speech bubble. I just thought that was really cute. And then my sentiment is going to be you are awesome. So I'm just adding the individual letters, the U and the R, to the top of the speech bubble here. And then I can just add the, or layer the awesome on it like that. Now this was a bad idea because it was still wet so I squished it into my mat there. And I should have rubbed it off right away because I actually ended up staining it. I'm sure I can get it off with something or other but um, yeah, should have taken that off right away. So I've got that. That's exactly where it's going to sit on the card. And then I decided it really needed a pop of color. So I pulled the same enamel dots from the layout. And I'm just going to add three of them down at the bottom here. I like to do odd numbered clusters because they tend to look better than even numbers. And at this point, just going to round the corners of the cards. I do that a lot on my cards, just something different than, say, a Hallmark card. You don't see rounded corners often, so I like to do that on my homemade cards. And I'm just going to go ahead and hear that with my 18G so that I know it's really stuck on there because if it goes in the mail, I don't want it falling off. So using that adhesive, I know it's going to stand the test of going through the mail. And lastly, I want to add some of these mistable stars again. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them on the card not really worrying exactly where they go. And I thought I'd mention too that a lot of the Missable products in the store are on sale for 50% and 30% off. The stars right now are 30% off, so they're down to, I think, $349, which is a really good deal for such um, a fun embellishment. And I mostly kept them white, but obviously they're great fun to mist on ink or stamp or anything. So it's a really fun embellishment. And pretty much that's my card. So I'm going to just clear off my desk here and zoom in for a second by accident and then I'm going to zoom out and you can see my card and my page together. 
So I copied the design, and I, as I said, I think that's really okay. It made the card come together so quickly, and I'm really happy with both projects. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Feel free to leave me comments on 2Ps or YouTube. If you have questions or anything, I'll get back to you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Have a great weekend.